Alright, so this video is going to be on a very controversial subject, the subject of the heavier trigger pull on the Gen 4 Glocks. Uh, this video is my opinion as to what is causing the heavier trigger pull on the Gen 4s. I say my opinion because everyone has their own opinion and even Glock gave me an answer that I don't think is really... I don't know how to say it, I guess, satisfactory. Uh, I called Glock about the issue, about the heavier trigger pull in Gen 4s, and asked them why it is the way it is. And the tech basically said that his theory, and again, emphasized his theory, um, is that the trigger bar, which is that right there, on the Gen 4 is more rigid than that of the Gen 3. Um, I asked him if it had anything to do with the bump right there on the trigger bar. He said, nope. I also asked him if it was okay to switch the Gen 3 trigger bar over to the Gen 4 frame. Uh, and he said, yeah, that it's fine. You can switch the, the, you can put the Gen 3 trigger bar in the Gen 4 Glock frame. Alright. So I wasn't too happy with that answer as to oh it's more rigid I don't think that's true um, actually in a way it kind of is uh, you'll see later basically there are two parts <clears throat> again this video is all my opinion as to what is causing the heavier trigger pull based on my research and my experience I have both the Gen 3 and the Gen 4 Glock so I was able to uh, swap parts and do a comparison uh, this, in this video, I'm going to keep the Gen 3 on the left side, Gen 4 on the right side. Think of it as a timeline. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 3, 4. Um, so, first I'm going to go through all the different theories that are online as to why the trigger pull is heavier. A lot of people think, oh, mind you, uh, on my Gen 4... I basically added the minus connector, which right now is a four and a half pound uh, connector, and I swapped the Gen 3 trigger bar into the Gen 4. So as you can see on the Gen 4, there's no bump there now because this is actually the Gen 3 trigger bar, and on the Gen 3 there's a bump because that's the Gen 4 trigger bar. All right, just letting you know so that you don't get confused as to why the Gen 3 has a bump and the Gen 4 doesn't. So the first theory is this bump. Um, People think the trigger pull is heavier because this bump is basically rubbing on the slide as you pull the trigger. Um, I can tell you that that is not the case. That is not why the trigger pull is heavier. Um, basically, let me see, <laughs> there's just so many things to go over. Um, Alright, let me just go through the theories first. Uh, the second theory is that this part right there of the trigger bar, so that little part of the crucifix or the cruciform that sticks up and holds the firing pin lug back, some people think that's angled higher on the Gen 4. Um, if you look at it this way, uh, you can see it's basically the same on both. Let me actually put the trigger there in the forward position trigger here forward position again this one has a gen 4 trigger bar this one has a gen 3 trigger bar and as you can see they're basically the same height so let me do that again right there they're basically the same height so no <clears throat> the cruciform form is not you know, going higher on the firing pin lug, and thus it, you know, takes more force to pull the trigger. It's it's not that. They're both exactly the same. I'll disassemble... Yeah, I'll disassemble them in a bit and sh compare them and show you exactly how both trigger bars are exactly the same except for the bump. Actually, let me just do that now. <clears throat> Alright, so I have detailed stripped both Glocks. This side is the Gen 3, this side the Gen 4. 
first let me point out the differences. Um, a while back, Glock changed the tail portion of their um, trigger bars. Uh, the reason for that is so that the trigger spring here wouldn't wear out as quickly. Um, this, this curve right here basically distributes the pressure on this hook as opposed to how it was before where it was just a straight line and that would basically leave all the pressure on two points of this hook and cause it to break after a long time. Um, now some people think this might be causing the heavy trigger pull but that's not the case because as you can see they both have it. This is the Gen 4 trigger bar. See the bump there? This is Gen 3. They both have it. Um, they're both exactly the same. You put them next to each other. You can see they're both angled the same as well. Let me see if I can... It's really hard, but... I mean... Just take my word for it. <laughs> this part of the cruciform is not angled more on one or the other. They're both the same. <clears throat> so again, the only difference between these two is that bump. That is it. There's nothing else. Um, is this one more rigid? I don't think so. They're both basically the same. Um, one change is the trigger housing. So you cannot switch or you cannot put the Gen 3 trigger housing in the Gen 4. It just doesn't work. As you can see, they're different. Um, the main thing this impacts is the angle of the connector. This is a connector um, that basically decides the weight of the trigger. This is the Gen 4 housing and I have the minus connector put on there. But basically if you kind of align it right you can tell and you won't really be able to see it on the, on the camera but the housing for the Gen 4 causes this whole connector to be five degrees more angled in the plus connector direction. So basically it increases the weight of the trigger pull. Um, so that's one reason why the trigger pull is heavy, heavier on the Gen 4 than the Gen 3. So the first thing I did was I bought the minus connector, I put it on and then I left the Gen 4 trigger bar and put everything back into my Gen 4. Pull the trigger. The uptake was lighter. But then once it reaches the point where you know it's about to deactivate and let the firing pin go forward, at that point where it clicks, it was very, very stiff and very hard for it to finally get it. To click and let go of the firing pin. <clears throat> because of this, I switched out the trigger bar. Uh, I put the Gen 3 trigger bar in the Gen 4 Glock with the minus connector, and that issue went away. Um, a lot of people like crisp triggers. Uh, I really don't see the advantage to a crisp trigger. Um, by putting the Gen 3 connector and the minus or the Gen 3 trigger bar and the minus connector in the Gen 4 it did make the trigger more I guess mushy so basically it wasn't as crisp but the whole trigger pull all the way to the point where it releases a firing pin it was smooth and light so it was fantastic I actually ended up doing a lot better in an IDPA match that I shot uh, because of this setup so I highly recommend it. Um, it it's, it's, it's a very good setup. Um, the interesting part was when I put the Gen 4 trigger bar in the Gen 3 gun um, with the standard connector, the uptake was normal, wasn't heavier or anything, but then to get it to actually click and fire, it was very hard. This was in the Gen 3 gun with the Gen 3 um, trigger housing. Um, so that led me to believe that basically the angle of the connector in the trigger housing for the Gen 4 is increased by 5 degrees. 
that causes the overall pull of the trigger to increase in weight. However, the real culprit as to the really stiff and hard pull at the end of the trigger pull where I finally lets go of the firing pin is the trigger bar. So I wanted to find out what exactly, you know, about what what about the trigger bar actually causes, you know, that final pull to be so stiff and hard. Um, and I think I figured it out. Let me cut now, put everything back together in the gun so I can show you a little demo as to how I was able to see what is causing this final, you know, pull the trigger to be so heavy. Before I do that, I'm just going to give you a nice close-up view. This is the Gen 4 connector. Or trigger bar, I mean, sorry. This is the Gen 3 on top. Again, they are exactly the same except for the bump. Exactly the same. There is no difference that I can tell. And then here are the trigger housings. You can see the difference. Don't know if you can see the increase in angle from one connected to the other one, but it's there. It's about five degrees. And that's basically due to the fact that the frame is shorter on the Gen 4, so the trigger housing has to change. All right.